He's crude, he's crass, and has absolutely no shame whatsoever. This is totally inappropriate. It's really wrong. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Louis C.K. moments. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've scoured this raunchy comedian's offbeat portfolio of work, from his stand-up performances to his television series and everything in between, and have ranked the best moments based on how unforgettably shocking and hilarious they are. Would you like a hand job? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Number 10, on the count of three, Louis. Go, funny. Three, two, one. While Louis is considered a professional comedian, the act of standing in front of hundreds of people with the intention of making them collectively laugh is no small feat. Heck, sometimes trying to tickle just one person's funny bone is a challenge, especially when you're on the spot. This is either a, a, a door or a wall for me, and I, it's either the beginning or the end. I, I don't I please. To land a gig as a talk show host, Louis must prove himself to be a funny person by impressing an executive played by film director David Lynch. The scene plays out awkwardly, because Louis is absolutely stumped about what to say. He does come up with something, but it's a strange sentence that mixes both insults and stupidity. Even so, it somehow helps his case. You're just a pencil penis parade. Number nine. Why? One night stand. When I have a child, I will answer all of their questions <laughs> and open their minds to the wonders of the world. Children are wonderful. Children are also exhausting. Why? Well, that one word is one of the main reasons why. Louis recounts an instance with one of his daughters when she repeatedly asked him why to discover the many reasons why life and reality are the way they are. A kid never goes, oh, thanks, I get it. While it's fantastic that children are curious and want to learn, Louis hits the nail right on the head as to why this process can become mundane and infuriating pretty fast. Nobody knows everything, yet your child expects you to, placing you in a seemingly never-ending conversation. In this case, it probably leaves Louis questioning why he had kids in the first place. Why? Because my parents gave me no guidance. They didn't give a shit. Why? Because they f***ed in a car and had me and they resented me for taking their youth. Number eight, Louis versus Dane. Louis. You don't really say 2006. It's 2006. 2006 is like saying the year 2000 and by the way, the number six. There's a lot of competition in the world of stand-up comedy. And as you can imagine, if one comedian thinks another comedian has stolen his material and tried to pass it off as his own, there will be some animosity on both sides. Dane Cook was at one point a top stand-up act, but when the internet began to slam him for taking Louis' jokes, it tarnished his once prestigious image. That should have been like my triumph, and I enjoyed it, Louis, for maybe two months. Well, in an episode of Louis, the two comedians address this issue head on, face to face. And considering how touchy this subject is with comedians, it's a pretty ballsy scene. Plus, we just love seeing Dane and Louis interact, fake argument or not. So for you to think that you're the only person who got an itchy asshole in America, I mean, that, like, that's, that's bullshit, you know? You should try a natural laundry detergent. What? Number seven, Gisanthopus, live at the Beacon Theater. I hate little boys. I'm like the opposite of a pedophile. I just hate... No, that's not a real word, but it should be added to the dictionary to describe bratty children everywhere, based on Louis' retelling of his immense hatred for a six-year-old boy. Louis' rant starts by summarizing how horribly behaved Gisanthopus really is, and how his mom doesn't even bother stopping him. Because it's like you're raising Hitler, mother or do your job! In true Louis fashion, things take a dark turn when he tells us what he'd do to protect his daughter from this nightmare child. And his plan is quite something. As he puts it, you gotta protect your kids. And if the best way is to confuse a bully's father sexually, then so be it. And I don't know your dad because he ran out on you, but I'm gonna find him, I'm gonna turn myself gay, and then I'm gonna f him too. Number six, art gallery, Louis. <laughs> Whoa. No, no, I didn't say it. Louis and Pamela go out for a date, and instead of opting for the more traditional dinner and a movie, they go to a modern art museum. The experience is different, to say the least. 
As they move through the exhibit, the pieces on display become increasingly strange, with an eerily consistent theme relating to the human body and vile subject matter. <laughs> The look on Louis's face as he walks past giant, dirty cotton swabs or grown men in their underwear shows that he's as confused as we are. But hey, maybe we just don't get it. That's called diarrhea. This is diarrhea. Number five, the heckler, Louis. Hi, could you stop talking because you're making it hard for me to do my job. One of the most infuriating things for a stand-up comedian is a heckler. Here you are trying to do your job when suckily some random jerk in the audience feels compelled to talk over you or yell something rude. It brings the whole show to a grinding halt, but you better believe the person on stage will not back down. You don't like rape? <laughs> you don't? That's really weird because you know that you wouldn't even exist if your mom hadn't raped that homeless Chinese guy. This scene captures why it's an awful idea to try and one-up the person holding the microphone. A comedian is trained to be witty and to create brutal comebacks if necessary, and Louis lets them fly at the heckler, showing how quickly the tables can turn in a situation like this. I can sue you. What? You can sue me? Yeah. You know who I would like to sue? Everybody that works in the hospital that you were born at. <laughs> Number four: Everything's amazing and nobody's happy. Late night with Conan O'Brien. Yeah, because everything is amazing right now. And nobody's happy. We live in the future. We have so many fascinating and useful technologies to help us with just about everything. Need to learn something? Internet. Need to get in touch with someone? Phone. Need to travel far away? Planes, trains, and automobiles. Yet, despite all of these conveniences, humanity somehow still complains that these amazing things aren't amazing enough. Because this is what people are like now. They got their phone. And they're like, ugh. It won't. Give it a second. <laughs> on one of his appearances on Late Night, Louis told Conan about a time when the Wi-Fi went out on a flight. The moral of the story: Maybe we all need to rethink how bad our first-world problems really are. Like how quickly the world owes him something. Yes. He knew existed only 10 seconds ago. Right. Number three: Helicopter escape, Louis. Look, I. I'm not very good at dating. Every guy's been there. Sometimes you just have trouble finding the words you need to charm the ladies. Now that's where Louis is in this scene, trying desperately to stitch together some half-decent statement that'll hopefully win her over. Why am I trying to impress you? Why don't you tell me about your goddamn life and try to impress me? However, what's even more important than finding the right words is finding the right time to move in for a kiss. Unfortunately, Louis doesn't go about this in the most graceful way. Causing the woman he's with to panic and bolt, and she doesn't just run. She goes for the kind of far away escape that involves a helicopter. All righty then. Number two, suck a bag of dicks. Shameless. What does he want me to do? Does he want me to take a bag of dicks and suck it, like suck the side of the bag? Or we've all gotten mad and shouted insults as a means of venting our rage. But of all the colorful curses available to you, has it ever crossed your mind to tell someone to suck a bag of dicks? He was angry. He didn't just, you know, suck a bag of dicks like a greeting. You know. It's a bizarre statement, and it paints a weird mental picture that Louis is more than happy to describe for us. In fact, he's actually got a lot of questions about what sucking a bag of dicks means or even looks like. In the end, it's a phrase that perplexed Louis to no end and paved the way for one of his funniest bits ever. Or is it like a paper bag and they're sticking out like baguettes, kind of like you went shopping? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I don't think it's killing a baby. I don't. I mean, it is. It's a. It's a little bit. It's a little bit killing a baby. If he had been raped by me, he never would have pulled any of that stuff, man. Should we invade Poland? No, I'll just uh, take a shower. I don't feel good. Like, like I can understand if gay people were just running out in the streets, just people in the ass willy nilly, just like a pestilence, like without asking, you know. Number one, of course, but maybe. Oh my God. It's become a category in my brain that I call, of course, but maybe. <laughs> No human is perfect. We all straddle the line between positive and negative, good and bad. But usually, we keep our bad thoughts inside because we like to portray ourselves as good people. I have a nephew who has that. I'd be devastated if something happened to him. But maybe, <laughs> maybe. 
Well, Louis breaks down all those walls and calls attention to the devil on his shoulder, exposing the dark side of the human psyche in what is arguably his most hilarious and blunt joke ever. Hearing him speak in his usual obscenities definitely brings the chuckles, but this bit is also surprisingly thought-provoking about human behavior and leaves us with palpable food for thought. Maybe if you get shot by the dude you were just shooting at, it's a tiny bit your fault. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.